You're watching Marsha, Marsha, Marsha on ViroBuzzTV.com. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Buzz TV. I'm Marsha Littlejohn, and I'm here with Katha Kissman. And I hope I'm saying that correctly. You are. Thank you. Well, it's wonderful to see you. Very nice. And I didn't get to see you the other night at that wonderful event at Harbor Branch, the Discovery. Is it called the Discovery what? The Ocean, um, Ocean Science Discovery Visitor Center. It is fantastic. Everyone must go down there to Harbor Branch and see that, but it's wonderful. But you are the CEO and president of the foundation. Of oh, the foundation, for correct. For Harbor Branch, mm -hmm. very, very important uh, department with any organizations. Thank you. So tell me, you have something really ex exciting going on. Well, we do. We have our 2016 Love Your Lagoon event, which is going to be held at the Harbor Branch campus on February 5th, uh, and it's a Friday night. Uh -huh. Under the stars, it will be uh, a tented event next to the Johnson Education Center oh. on the campus. And as you may remember when you visited the ODC on, the, uh, on Friday, that's just our external um, facility. It greets you as you, it come, greets in. you wow. as you come in. But we do have a 144-acre campus oh. that's behind a secured gate um, because we are an open port. Um, and, but this is an, a chance for the public to come on campus and to uh, help support important scientific research and outreach on the Indian River Lagoon. Oh boy, and do we ever need do that? Do we need oh. that? Mm -hmm. If you're watching us wherever you are in this entire world, because you know we are on the internet, so wherever you are, we're talking Indian River County, and Indian River, our magnificent Indian River, is reaching out for help. Now, I grew up here, so I know how important that lagoon is, and a lot mm -hmm. of you don't realize that Really, so much is here because of that lagoon. Exactly. Are we discovering, though, and maybe we need to get one of the scientists on, are we discovering what the problem is? Well, it's multifaceted. That's the that's the challenge with trying to address some of the issues with the Indian River Lagoon right now. Um, everything from septic tank leakage to fertilizer runoff to um, just population in general to overfishing to oh, yes. climate change. Yeah. So there's just so many different issues right now, Lake Okeechobee discharges. Um, the Indian River Lagoon is a 156-mile estuary of national significance. The second largest in the country, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's the largest. Really? I thought I think Chesapeake so. Bay was, but... Uh, oh, you might be right. I'm sorry. I always forget that Chesapeake Bay is an estuary. <laughs> I know, we forget all those things up there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it truly is. There's so much to learn about that. So much to learn about it. And our event was started in 2012 um, because of the 2011-2012 um, dying off of seagrass oh, and yes, um, yes. major issues, the algal blooms that were happening then. And we wanted to do something specifically to help um, with the research. Um, on the Indian River Lagoon. And so we started the Indian River Lagoon Symposium. And the symposium brings together multi-institutions, multi-agencies, um, individuals, people from all over that are doing research on the Indian River Lagoon. Oh so that's been going on each year. And the proceeds from our Love Your Lagoon event go to support that. OK, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you hold those thoughts okay. for just a moment, because we're going to take a very, very b brief break and then come back. And we're talking about the Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. And oh boy, great things going on every and it's very convenient to Vero Beach. Yes it is. Just down the road. Just down bit. the road. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Attention. This is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, or even death. Call Jacoby and Myers today. You may be entitled to compensation. You won't pay a thing unless your case is settled. Please call 800-378-0160. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs.
Well, we are back indeed. And of course, we're talking about the Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. And I'm talking with Katha Kissman, and you are the CEO and the president of the foundation. Correct. And that is that organization that our department, I guess, in any organization that makes sure we have enough dollars and dimes. And that's what it's going to take. So you're going to have this fabulous event. We have this fa uh, fabulous event each year um, under the stars, uh, anywhere between three and four hundred people, uh, a tented event right along the, the channel. It's starts with a cocktail hour at six o'clock that so we have right our dinner on the campus of right Harbor on the Branch. campus of Harbor Branch correct um, and uh, this year we uh, we have an honoree each year and this year we are honoring Dr. Mary Rice uh -huh. from the Smithsonian Research Marine Research um, facility in uh, Fort Pierce um, but our previous honorees have been um, legendary environmentalist Nathaniel Reed oh, wow. um, we've had Bud Adams from Adams sure. Ranch um, sustainable beef which is really terrific and we're actually serving his beef oh, first fabulous. entity to be serving their retail beef and so we're very very proud of that um, and then the first lady of Vero Beach Amelie Loy has been our honoree and last year was Mark Perry from the Florida Oceanographic Society how so wonderful, wonderful honorees now how I know there are people out there watching how yes. would they get tickets and be able to attend well you can go right on to our website which is um, hboifoundation.org HBOI, in case you can't remember, it is Harbor Branch Oceanographic, Oceanographic Institute, Institute Foundation dot org. And right at the side on the left, there will be a Love Your Lagoon button. Just press that and you can purchase tickets online or you can print it out and send in a check. And what we are saying is love your lagoon. And that is our Indian River. We have to start loving it. We do. So they can just send a check and get a ticket and send a check and, and be there, though. Tell the date and time once again. February 5th at 6 p.m. at FAU Harbor Branch. Oh, and if you've not been to that campus, it is just something just fabulous. I think it's been quite some time since I've been down there, but just having been at the Ocean, what was the Discovery? The Visitors? Ocean Discovery Visitor Center, yes. You literally see, I mean, you see so much about what is in our ocean. Mm -hmm. And really, I kind of, I didn't realize that maybe a hundred years ago when I was swimming in Melbourne, were we swimming with some of those fish that we see the skeletons up there? <laughs> yes. Wow. This is what you learn, and it truly is a family affair. But this is a way that we can all get out there and learn a little bit more about Harbor Branch. And if someone is more interested in maybe becoming a member of your foundation, would that be possible as well? Well, we don't have memberships, but they could certainly give me a call, and I'd be more than happy to tell them about the different opportunities to be engaged with FAU Harbor Branch. Most importantly, we have an ocean science um, lecture series uh -huh. that's every Wednesday stay free to the public a uh, four o'clock and a six o'clock a seven o'clock and then we have a brown bag um, lunch series that goes on and that's right. with our researchers and the last thing is our immersion tours oh. people can come for a very nominal fee can come on campus and take an in-depth um, immersion tour with different scientists oh, um, on wonderful. campus well if I'm not mistaken what was out in front of the discovery that, that was the Johnson sea link oh. which we are famous for because uh, yes. that was a man submersible it was featured on many National right Geographic there. specials. Yes, we it was right there. We climb into it. It was just it was <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful things happening at Harbor Branch, so be sure to check them out. And it's hboifoundation.org. That's that right. right. Thank you, Marsha. Thank you so much for being with us. And we hope you've enjoyed Buzz TV. If you or someone you love is suffering from addiction to drugs or alcohol, National Rehab Recovery has an important message for you. Each year, we lose hundreds of thousands of our family members and loved ones to drug and alcohol-induced causes. If you have insurance or the ability to pay for 30 days of treatment, National Rehab Recovery can change your life. Medicare and Medicaid are not accepted at this time. The call and confidential consultation is free. 1-800-577-5446. Stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics in downtown Vero Beach. Owner Patty Callahan prints it all. From color and black and white copies to blueprints, banners, signs, prints of paintings, and fine art. Patty makes restorations and creates outstanding graphic designs. Call Patty at 770-1521 or stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics at 2345 14th Avenue. Stop by for all of your printing needs at Patty's Printing and Graphics across from the old railroad station in downtown Vero Beach.
Well, hello everyone and welcome to Buzz TV. I'm Marcia Littlejohn right here with these two ladies who are going to be making us all drool because, oh boy, when you're talking about <laughs> top chefs, how much fun is this? Let me welcome, first of all, Kimberly Stewart. Kimberly, mm -hmm. you are the marketing and director of development as well for Hope for, it's a whole new name. Tell Hope me. for Family Center. Hope for Family <laughs> Centers. And I sent her, and I guess really we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But I'm so happy to also have Deborah Murphy. <laughs> Thank you. And you are really you're not one of the top chefs, but you sure are dealing with them, aren't you, as chairman? I'm dealing with 14 of them. Oh, how much fun is that? It has been a lot of fun. Have you gotten any recipes? Oh, I've gotten so many. <laughs> well, I should oh. I should say I have titles. Oh, yeah. I don't know oh. the exact <laughs> recipe, the ingredients. Okay. but the titles themselves are rather oh. daunting. <laughs> and we're going to talk about that in just a moment. But Kimberly, first of all, I'd love for you to tell all of our viewers just a little backstory on Hope for Families, because that is so important. Sure. Uh, the Hope for Family Center is also known or formerly known as the Homeless Family Center here in Vero Beach. We're we take care of families to help bring them to self-sufficiency. Um, a lot of people don't realize there's a significant difference in the um, community as far as homeless family center. Uh, what we take care of are families. And so 60% of our residents right now are actually children. Oh. And I think 50% of those uh, residents are under the age of five. There is a real need, we always have another easy 15, 20 families that would be looking for a place to come and oh um, try to get back on their feet, regain their self-respect, and uh, we try to help them do that. And I think um, what I have learned over the years in talking with this particular organization, which used to be using the word homeless, and I love this now because the word hope gives, mm -hmm. gives all those children right. so much more, I guess, really more confidence, too, when they're saying where they live and what they're doing. Right. But I think what I learned is that you're helping them to be self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the key, as we've always used that phrase, not just a hand out, but a hand up. Right. And they're really learning from this, aren't they? They really are. They have so many uh, components to the Hope for Families Center. They have education, they have not only medical and dental, but they have job resources, job retraining, resume writing. Uh, She's a really, good student, it's, isn't she? Yes, oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, it is, it is a, it is a, a retraining, or I, I think of it as almost a, a, an outplacement uh -huh, Hope Center. Sure. So it's a really neat organization. It's been great to help Kim with. I've really, really learned a lot. Well, I think many of our viewers will think, okay, where do these people come from? How do they get involved? I mean, how is there a, a, is a neighborhood that will say, I saw somebody out in the, out in the yard? Or, I mean, how do they find you? You can contact um, 211 services, but mm -hmm. it's also something that's, um, you know, uh, we try to, we have a website uh, that you can actually go to. It's, um, it's word of mouth. I sure. mean, there's a big homeless problem in the community well, for Well, I, I guess all. really what I meant, and we're gonna take a little break now, and I wanna come back, because what is the criteria? Because many people, you're helping so many people, and we know there are people that are looking for jobs, they're looking, they can't, they don't know where their next meal is gonna come from, and that's all part of it. But how, what is the criteria to become one of your in, individuals who are being helped mm -hmm. so tremendously? And I'll tell you what, we're gonna give you all that information about the Top <laughs> Chef event coming right up, so don't go away, we'll be right back. For more than 30 years, Bay Street Pharmacy has been your neighborhood pharmacy and one-stop health care center, offering prompt personal service, home delivery, and a dedicated staff that treats our customers like family with care and compassion. Bay Street Pharmacy, where caring people care for you. Have you or a loved one been prescribed the blood thinner medication Xarelto? Xarelto has been linked to serious injuries, including internal bleeding of the brain or gastrointestinal system, cerebral hemorrhage, and even death. At the law offices of Jacoby and Myers, we've been bringing compassion and experience to our clients for over 40 years. Jacoby and Myers is now taking claims from those injured as a result of taking Xarelto. You won't pay a thing unless your case is settled. Please call 800-536-6093. And we are back, just as promised. We are here with Kimberly Stewart and, of course, Deborah Murphy. And we're all talking about 
the Hope for Family Center. And this is so great. You've heard of the Homeless Family Center. This is the new name, Hope for Family Center. And we're talking about all the different events that are going on because it does take so much dollars and dimes and to really keep this going where is the homeless are the hope center located the hope center is located at 724th street in vero beach and um we do offer every wednesday afternoon which is a really neat thing they do it's an open house oh, good. at four o'clock so anybody can come through and of course if you need to contact the center uh, we'll make sure that Marsha gets the, the phone number to post. Um, Hopefully we'll have that on, on the screen right now as we're speaking. Okay. But I think really what we want to do is, is talk about these different events because you're serving how many people in the community? Do we have numbers? We take about? care of over 100 families a year. Wow. Yeah. And we have an outreach program as well so that we try to take them. Uh, we've got the emergency. We've got 21 rooms at the center. So we can only take 21 families at a time. And oh, as I golly. said, there's always 15 or 20 qualified families that, you know, that, can, that would like to be there. Well, and I do know that you need volunteers. You love to have volunteers. That Wednesday afternoon is a great time to come and learn a little bit more about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You said that. Why just in these last couple of minutes that we have, though, because you have these events coming up. And I know you have just come off, and when this is airing, come off those first kind of the, the scrutinizing some of these top chefs, and right. now it's down to the wire. Now we've got the final four uh, savory chefs and one sweet chef, and that's going to be at a finale at the Point West Golf Club on February 22nd. So the one chef is going to be picked there. Oh and we'll get your fun. tickets fast. And I, I have <laughs> to say, because we are airing this, before they were all selected. Yeah. I can't It'll tell be you if it's the one with the shrimp grits. Because <laughs> that <laughs> was one of the There's so one. many. Oh, oh bacon lollipop and oh, span Asian inspired zesty gazpacho. I, there's and all kinds there a, of. A broccoli candy or something? Oh, there or? was a, a, a collard candy greens. collard greens. Yes, and yeah. and collard greens. <laughs> <laughs> incredible recipes. They do such a great job. So, but right, February 22nd, that's going to be our finale. So that chef is going to be um, honored, and I think we always too do a people's award. So there'll be someone, there'll be a people's choice award as well, and um, so that's going to be really a fun event. Where, so where tickets can, online. I was going to say tickets uh -huh. online. Simply go to hopeforfamilycenter.com and order your tickets for the finale. And then following up with that, we do a March 27th. Uh, spring luncheon, excuse me, March 29th. Yeah. 27th is Easter Sunday. So, it's also my birthday. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. That's so that remember. lunch is also... Now we've gotten you exactly confused, right? Okay, March so 29th, 29th is the spring <laughs> luncheon. March 29th is the spring luncheon. February 22nd is her birthday. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> February 22nd is the finale. the finale for the Top Chef. Right. And we'd love to see all of you, and we appreciate everything you everything can do. Everything you can do. Support, go online, get a ticket, come and volunteer, donate. Time, yeah. talent, oh, yeah. and treasure. Everything is going to be accepted. Thank well, you. I think really just learning about it, too, and learning about Hope for Family Center is so vitally important. And once again, the website where they can find all this information. The website is Hope for Families Center. Dot com. All right. Well, we're all going to go there, and we're all going to go to that wonderful spring luncheon as well. So a lot yes. of fun. Deborah and Kimberly, thanks so Thank much you. for being Thank with you. us. Thank we you. We hope you have enjoyed Buzz TV. The fun is happening at Vero Social Club on North US 1, where friends meet for bingo every Tuesday and Thursday. Doors open at 10, with luncheon serve, and the games begin at noon. Then Vero Social Club opens up the dance floor. Thursday nights for social dancing. And weekends, Vero Social Club heats up. Check the website for Latin night special events. And each Sunday, dance to hip hop all night long. Go to VeroSocialClub.com. Vero's number one party destination. Vero Social Club, 7500 North US 1. Hi, I'm Carolyn. And I'm Jim. Together we are the Live Now Real Estate Team at REMAX Associated Realty. We know the Sebastian area real estate market very well, and we also know that buying or selling a home can be very serious business. But together we can reduce the stress and even have fun in the process. Along with our hundreds of satisfied clients, we really want you to live now and be happy too. Contact us at thelivenowteam.com. See you soon.
Well, welcome to Buzz TV. I'm Marcia Littlejohn, and I am here with Eric Menger. And of course, everybody knows that Eric is our airport director right here at Vero Beach. And Eric, I don't know if you know it, but this is an internet television station. I do know that. And that means wherever they are in the world. Oh gosh, now I'm nervous. Absolutely. I, I, I was nervous to <laughs> said that. Well, I have, of course, known Eric for so many years, and we've done so many different shows together, and of course, learning so much about our airport and, and you, and of course, realizing that you have watched this place grow. Mm -hmm. And now, what is going on at that airport? We can fly from here to New York. I think Jim Davis was saying how fabulous yeah. it was. He went up for the weekend. Yeah, he was on the inaugural flight yeah. and had a great time up in New York City. Uh, we had, we did have a good time. It's really a neat flight because it's only two hours and 15 minutes, uh, yeah. two hours and 20 minutes once you take off from Vero and you're in Newark, which is 15, 20 minutes by train from New York City, or you can go anywhere from Newark. Sure. Newark yeah. International Airport is just a good size airport. It's probably uh, maybe not the size of Orlando, but uh, bigger than Palm Beach Airport. And, so. and really, I mean, I think we flew in there one time and just got a cab and went right to our hotel. And yeah. So it's just, it's an easy flight. You're getting right up there, and it's so yeah. reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, the people really love it. I haven't had any complaints about the fares. Um, you know, if you book early, it's 149 one way, which is really a decent fare. Plus, yeah. there's no parking charges. I mean, at Vero Beach, you can park for free. The uh, first check bag is is also included in the fare, and they have a little bit of an upscale beverage and um, you know cookie type. Uh, you know, <laughs> there's snack always a first fare. class someplace. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. oh, it's really great. In fact, the cookies are coming from a local bakery here oh, in town, and. Uh, you know, the airline is just all about customer service, so we're happy to have them there at the airport. Well, I, I would love for you to just really explain to our viewers as well, the airport in Vero Beach, it's been here for years and mm -hmm. years and years, but every, it seems to me that I see more flights coming in and out when I'm out at the park. I hear mm -hmm. so much. So the activity has really picked it's up. It's busy. I mean, we've not yet reached the peak when uh, our peak was around 260,000 takeoffs and landings in a year. Uh -huh. And that was back in 1990, believe it or not, quite a while ago. So we're up to about 220,000. It's busy. I mean, there's Ooh. no doubt about it. We have quite a few um, recreational and uh, we have law enforcement activity. You know, we've got the flight training always going on, oh, oh, yes. uh, charter flights. Um, and then, of course, the airline adds a little bit, not huge. There are only two flight, two, uh, two days a week right what now. What other airlines? I mean, I know this is the new, the, what is it, Elite? Elite, right, Elite. with an E. Elite with an E. Mm -hmm. But we have other airlines that come in, do we not? No, not yet. I mean, right. we're Didn't we at one time? We, no. Well, we, well, in the past, we've had I mean, air, other airlines. Absolutely, yes. yes. Now, right now, we just have Elite Airlines, um, which is, what, like I said, a very good customer-friendly oh, yes. airline. And we hope to really expand with them and grow with Elite. But we're also looking and talking to other airlines still today just to see if there's any interest. But really, you know, Vero Beach is not a very populous town. We don't really feel like we're going we're gonna to have you know, even a Melbourne no. size activity here, but we do feel like we can meet the need, um, you know, that this community has. Well, you mentioned you bring up Melbourne, and it does seem mm -hmm. to me that there is a correlation there, too, that you work mm -hmm. together, do you mm -hmm. not? I mean, people will go up there and, and well, come back. Well, yeah, I mean, from Melbourne. Um, Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only going to correct you. <laughs> is, it, is it Melbourne in Australia? It's Melbourne, Melbourne it, yeah, here, it, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's, but, it's uh, southern. <laughs> yeah, from, well, from Melbourne. You can go uh, via Charlotte or, Del or um, Delta to Atlanta. So for, via the two hubs, you could go to Atlanta or Charlotte from Melbourne. And then, of course, from there, you can go just about anywhere. There you go. But, I'm going to interrupt you right now because uh, I want you to hold that thought. Okay. Because we're going to take a little break and All come right. back All and right, continue we'll our discussion. Because we really think about, I mean, we may not be a real active hub, but boy, oh boy, we have a lot to offer. We'll be right yes, back. We do. Stay with us. During the course of the past 100 years, advancements in technology have dramatically changed forever the manner in which people worldwide interact and now connect and communicate with one another. Welcome, Buzz TV. Join us for an adventure weekdays at 4.30 and 8.30 on Buzz TV Network.
Well, we are indeed back, and here we are with Eric Menger. He is the airport director right here in Vero Beach. And if you're watching us all over the world, you know that this is not only the most beautiful place, it's a small place, but now the convenience of having a major airline. I mean, well, we say Elite is a major airline. It certainly is for all of us Well, now. for Vero Beach. It's, it's, yeah. a, it's, you know, it's a very well-managed air, airline from what I've seen, and they have really cool jets that uh, fly fast. You know, this is the first time um, in Vero Beach that we've ever had airlines service with other than a turboprop uh -huh. or a prop plane. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the first time ever and it's the first time we've ever gone outside the state of Florida. This is a direct jet flight on uh, modern corporate sized jets to um, to an, air, an airport that you can get to anywhere, anywhere from Newark, even international out of Newark. But it doesn't so stop. It just goes straight up to Newark. That's right. Oh yeah, it's direct. It's non-stop jet flight and that's really what's great. People get on there, you know, at Vero Beach which, and, and you, can, you can have uh, even a pet with you, you know, the, air, the Elite air, oh, really? air, Airways is very pet friendly. I've seen several dogs, little dogs go right onto the plane. In and, their little cages. And the, yeah, either okay. in their cage or if they're well behaved, they can sit kind of between the knees, you know, oh, of the passengers. Cute. I and love then they it. go straight to Newark, and in two hours and 15 minutes, you're there. You know, yeah. you have people pick you up, or you rent a car, or you can take the train. And then you can go up and just see a Broadway show, but you, you don't have to because show. we have Riverside, and that's just as good as Broadway. You can do both. But you, yeah. <laughs> But it is wonderful to have all of that. But we have an awful lot of, if I'm not mistaken, um, private air jets that come in and jets oh, sure. that come in constantly because sure. you see, especially after Christmas, you see them taking off, you know, the day after, yeah, absolutely. bringing in people. Yeah, so it's an had, active airport. Oh, yeah. We've had charter service for many years and continue to have that uh, with Sun Aviation and Corporate Jet uh, and uh, Paris Air. Uh, we have a very thriving business at the mm -hmm. airport, even with, without the airline, of course. But the airline brings in additional flexibility for our customers, for our passengers, and also increases our economic impact. I oh, think, absolutely. To the well, you were mentioning that, and just briefly in these last two minutes, what it does reach out to the community because you were mentioning even the cookies that are served on there right. from a local bakery. From a local bakery, and you know we we've noticed uh, an uptick in the um, activity a little bit at Cannon's Restaurant too, which is uh -huh. of course right next yes. door. So if a passenger gets there a little early and would like to have a cup of coffee or a, you know a breakfast, uh, there's plenty of time to do that. There's no long lines at the Vero Beach Airport. It's just a very customer friendly, small, and uh, and quaint little airport that I think folks really enjoy flying oh, from. So. Just explain, if you will, what does the airport really involve? How, what is in the Vero Beach Airport? Not just the, the landing and taking mm -hmm. off. There's everything. There's so much there. Right. Well, you know, the, um, the revenue that the airport generates is about 70% from non-aviation businesses mm -hmm. like Cannon's Restaurant mm -hmm. and others. You know, we have Tubby Subs there and we have uh, Mark Caslow with Dragonfly Boat Works. Uh -huh. I mean, there's a lot of activity, manufacturing and other, that generates the business at the airport. So you have a lot to take care of. But a lot right to now, do. We are trying to get the word out that we have elite air Elite Airways. Air, Airways. Airways. Elite right. Airways. And you can go to EliteAirways.com and you oh, can good. find out. And how often it. does it fly in and out? Thursdays and Sundays in the morning and comes back in the afternoon both days. A perfect, a perfect weekend, long there weekend. There you go. That's it. Boy, oh boy. Eric Menger, thanks so very much. You're Doing welcome, a great Marcia. job. Wonderful having you here. And of course, everybody needs to take just a weekend and get on that Elite Airways. Absolutely. Do they go in and free parking and everything? Oh, yeah. Still. Oh, you bet. Can't, no can't charge. Beat it. Oh, boy. Well, you've been watching Buzz TV. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics in downtown Vero Beach. Owner Patty Callahan prints it all. From color and black and white copies to blueprints, banners, signs, prints of paintings, and fine art. Patty makes restorations and creates outstanding graphic designs. Call Patty at 770-1521 or stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics at 2345 14th Avenue. Stop by for all of your printing needs at Patty's Printing and Graphics across from the old railroad station in downtown Vero Beach.